morning guys it is uh, 30 degrees my phone said 23 902 and uh, today is payday so Pam and I are going out doing some uh, baking and shopping whatever we haven't decided yet I won't show her because frankly she looks like heck <laughs> I look like heck. <laughs> I'll be too. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Everybody looks bad to me. Let me ask the shower. The makeup on. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh my gosh, not so loud. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, Pete just ran in. We're at the Chevy dealer so that he can get a uh, a seat extender, seat belt extender for me because um, I do fine with the seat belts, but in the winter, if I'm wearing a coat, I don't. And I don't usually wear a coat in the winter, so it's not usually an issue. However, this year, my system is not handling winter at all. In fact, this morning, just walking from the RV to the car, my hands were so cold that it felt like somebody was pounding them with hammers and they hurt so bad that has never ever happened to me before so i got in the car and i turned on my seat mate heater um because we have the electric you know heaters for the seat we call it seat mate heater anyway stuck my hand behind my back because it heats the back and the seat to warm up my hands and it felt like i just stuck them in a burning fire i don't know what that's all about but i'm not liking it as you know, I love winter. As you know, I don't like wearing heavy coats and all that. I usually go out lightly dressed. I am today. Right now it's 45 out though, but I'm wearing a, you know, like a sweatshirt jacket and a sweater. But this morning when I came out, my phone said 23 and the car said something else. I don't remember. I know it's not 45 outside, I think, because I'm, I'm sitting in front of a metal building that the sun is hitting directly and bouncing back onto the car. So I'm, it's warm right in this spot, but I'm sure it's not 45. <laughs> it's only supposed to be in the mid-30s today. Anyway, um, so anyway, this whole heat thing and cold, handling the cold weather, that is just not something that I'm happy about at all. But um, anyway, when I have a heavy winter coat on, I need a seat belt extender. That's the whole point of everything I just said. So Pete just went in to get one. If they have them, if they have to order one, that's fine because it's just a few blocks from our house. Um, yeah, this morning I took Pam to the bank, to her bank, to and to my, um, not Meyer Walmart, and um, it is uh it was so great to go into walmart see all the christmas stuff now that it's december i'm all christmasy and merry christmas all over everywhere and all the jingle bells and all the little cute little kids christmas dresses and the trees and it's just the whole christmas thing just i liked it today so that was kind of fun so i'm gonna go and uh i will see you later bye Alrighty then. Look at that gas price. Look at all the people in line, including us. All the pumps are way lined up. Okay, so we are in Cadillac. Can you see that? Yeah, it's a lot warmer now. There's the time and the dust. Wow, lots of dust. And hello there. Stopped in to get something to drink so I can take a pain pill at a gas station. Pete says to me, Leland wants to buy you this. <laughs> so. Whenever we go someplace and Leland's with me, he says, Ugma would love this. Can we buy it for her? <laughs> sure we can. He picks out good gifts. Yes, he does. Like his mom. Yeah. So, my other 
that Brandy gave me is jealous now, glaring down at that one. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today in Cadillac, and it's a nice day to be out and about, get some fresh air, and get some stuff done, and whatever. Next stop, Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's a long way down. There you go. He's cute. Oh, you're cute. Huh? I didn't. Habitat Restore. They have a really nice big one here in Cadillac. So, that's where we're going next. Okay, here comes Petey. Hello. We got some good stuff. I wanted something smooth to put under the bird cages so I can slide them in and out easier. And we found a piece of paneling that's just about the right size for uh, $1.99. And I found a couple DVDs for the kids for the, we have a DVD player in here and the kids love to listen to DVDs in the car, but we only have one and we're sick of it. <laughs> so I got two DVDs of Hermie and Friends, and, uh, which I love Hermie and Friends, they're Max Licato. And um, another one called, Is Your Mama a Llama? It's got stories in it. We got, oh yeah, we got some insulation to put on the backs of our cupboards and closets and stuff in the RV, which we've needed, which insulation equals bubble wrap, windows, stuff like that. What else? Oh, Pete needed some bolts that he found. Hopefully they'll do the job. Hopefully they'll do the job. And that's pretty much, oh yeah, some adhesive, you know, caulk type adhesive that we needed, so. Yeah, all that stuff for 17 bucks. Pretty impressive. Something else. Oh, a lamp. I got a lamp. Which I can't wait to get putty down in the RV. It's really cute. So, All right, we're off to the Goodwill, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, guys, it's almost 4 o'clock. 46 degrees. I've taken my sweater off. My outer sweater. Not, I'm just wearing one layer now. Because it is very warm out. And, um... We just went to Goodwill. Pete got a couple sweaters. I got a sweater. Pete found a cool thing. Just yesterday we were talking about in the RV, if we didn't have our hats hanging where they're hanging, we'd have walls to hang pictures. So Pete found a, a cap holder that holds 30 caps that you hang over a door. There's an answer to prayer. Brand new in the box. Um, is that all we got, Lil? Uh, and I got some gloves. Oh yeah, Pete got some gloves. So, I think that's it. Anyway, now we're working our way down to Gordon Foods, and I will. I just want some a big bag of cauliflower. It's all I'm after. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay. All right, Gordon Foods. There's our little piece of paneling we got. Not at Gordon's. That plugs in and makes us extra refrigerator when we need more space. Or a heater. Or he it heats? Yes. do not matter how you plug it into here. I did not know that. So let's see, frozen a big bag of cauliflower cut up. Frozen green beans, frozen black bean fiesta. It's got all kinds of stuff. Big thing of cabbage, spinach, and um, what's that called? Canadian bacon, two pounds of Canadian bacon. Because I love this stuff. Next stop, Meyer. I need an eggplant. Can't buy an eggplant in Houghton Lake. I don't know why. There's no, they're nowhere. And I will also look at their organic stuff for Pete. We just came out of Myers. Look at that. It's even 
more, the colors are more vivid in real life than they're showing on my display. Oh my goodness, even the other way, the reflection of the sunset on the, to the east is amazing. Wow. Look at that, that is stunning. Everywhere, it's everywhere, it's all around us. Oh my word, I'm already dizzy and I'm gonna fall right in the parking lot here. I can't see that direction. It is, it's all the way, that is amazing. Come on, why did it get blurry? Come on, focus, there we go. No, it's still blurry. Amazing. I mean, over there, it's bright, fiery red and dark purple. That's amazing. Okay, people are waiting for the spot because I'm really close to the door. So, I'll see you later. Okay, guys, final stop before we get home is all the PS quarter in hand. Right back where we started, there's the gas station where we got our dollar eighteen gas. And why can't I focus? Anyway, I gotta lock the car. I have to lock it with a key. And alarm it. Look at that. Anyway. <laughs> Here we are, at, and that's where we got our gas right there. There's Walmart, Strip Mall, and Meyer, right down at the end of the block. That's where we've been all day, just about. Right, dear? What? I didn't know that was on. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. When I turned it on, there we go. Okay, going into Aldi to shop. See ya. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> hmm. Okay, guys, does Pam still have her lights on? Yes, she does. Okay, um, this is it. It's about it's 10 to 10. We came home after doing all of that grocery shopping. Got tons of groceries. Oh, my gosh, we got some good deals, though. We got lots of groceries, and at least, if not more, and half of it was uh, organic stuff for Pete, which is... As you know, very expensive. But in the end, we spent under $200 for tons of groceries. Every nook and cranny, every cupboard, the fridge, the freezer's full. We had to bring in the cooler, uh, the plug-in cooler that is like a refrigerator for all our produce. And that is huge. So, I mean, um, there's some stuff over there. There's a bag of onions, a bag of oranges, and a bag of lemons that we did, couldn't put anywhere. <laughs> So, yeah, we got tons of groceries, and I'm really excited about it because it was well under 200. I'm thinking it's like 165 or something like that. And uh, most of it, we got like all kinds of organic stuff for Pete, tons of organic stuff. And uh, then we came home, and I am in so much pain today, I can hardly stand it. But not complaining, just the way things are. Um... So after all that, putting it away and taking care of the birds and da da da. Oh my word, I forgot I put something in the washer over there. and never went and, well, Pam's asleep now. I'll do it in the morning. Never went and put something in the dryer. I never went and put it in the dryer. Pete and I got some uh, sweaters from um, the Goodwill there in Cadillac. And of course, nothing comes in unless it goes straight in the washer. So, um, you know, I know how many bad bugs are out there say nothing of lice and whatever else so everything that comes in from a thrift store all well, goes directly to the washer so i forgot about it got to put it in the dryer then i worked on the music for sunday um which doesn't take that that long anymore as you know and then i played for pleasure um i was in too much pain to cook or anything even though we have all this wonderful food i just couldn't do anything with it tonight so see the pizza boxes there you go <laughs> vegetarian for pete ground beef and mushroom for me and uh, we have 
more than enough for tomorrow too. And then let's see. Um, I guess that's about it. I did finally finish. I was able to edit and finish the Q and A, and I see, looking at it, I've already got um, like seven people who have, who have. Let me double check because I have my laptop stop on my lap. Oh, 10 views, 10 views, five likes. So finally got the Q and A up. And then I have this video today, which I will go and um, Pete's watching TV in there. I'll probably just sit out here and edit it, get that uploaded. So there's two videos going up tonight. Don't feel like you gotta stay up all night and watch them, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's it. And that was our day. And I don't think I missed much. I think I showed you clips of everything. So I'm going to go um, and get this edited and get it uploaded. And I will see you guys next time, whenever next time is. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, I don't know. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. And I uh, hope you have a relaxing time or a productive time or whatever it is you want um, or a little of everything. And I will see you next time, maybe tomorrow. So take care. God bless and good night.